Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about an extension called Timecork. You can open this up here in the top right corner. It looks like this. And it gives you basically the time frame based on your BPM setting of your project. So with 110 BPM, one quarter note is exactly 545.45 milliseconds long, which equals to 1.83 hertz. Okay, so this um, extension is made by Ensonic. The link is in the description below. It's completely free. Um, there's also a GitHub page here uh, with install instructions. And I saw this on the channel of Odo, who also makes a lot of Bitwig tutorials. Also, the link is in the description below, so you can check out this channel, of course. And like I said, it's free. You just download this, put this into your documents slash Bitwig Studio slash uh, extension folder. And then you can open this up basically uh, under settings, controllers, then you add a new controller, go to and Sonic, and then you can add Timecork. And when this extension is active or enabled, you can see this here on the top right corner, you can open this up and can just copy and paste basically the time frame settings here. So why do we need this? Um, so one example would be, let's say you have your track 120 BPM. Right, you can open up maybe the kick drum here. And the kick drum, the decay setting is based on milliseconds. So you want to make the, your kick drum exactly one quarter note long. You can see when you select your one quarter on the left side, you can see here the time of that is 0 0.125 seconds long, but you can't copy this, right? You have to type this in here. Uh, so it would be nice to have this actually uh, in in Bitwig itself natively integrated and in my opinion you need to actually uh, switch to certain units in Bitwig Studio here on the device itself so it would be nice to switch this from milliseconds to uh, timing settings one quarter note one eight note and so on maybe also let me type in hertz this would be nice so you know that you can change the unit this in my opinion this should be possible on every parameter on every door on every plugin ever uh, would be nice to have um so now we have this um time cork extension here so we can say we want to have this kick drum exactly one eight note long so 250 milliseconds we can just copy this and paste this in here and now our kick drum is exactly one quarter note long Maybe we want to make it shorter, let's say 160 note, 125 milliseconds. We type this in, bam. And we have a much, much shorter kick drum. Or in fact, the kick drum is exactly 160 note long. Maybe there's a bit of a ring out here from the release setting of the e-kick device. I don't know, but you have a rough setting for this, uh, for this kick drum. Um, it's also important, um, let's say you want to match up your, uh, your BPM with your scale. So right, we have 120 BPM, 120 BPM. And if you make this shorter, you maybe already know this, right? If you take shorter measures here, at certain point, if you just increase the BPM setting, right? It becomes kind of a pitch. So you move from rhythm to pitch. And the pitch of this is basically here in Hertz. So if you can see here, 164 node is exactly 32 hertz. If we take here a test tone and put this test tone to 32 hertz, you can see here down in the info bar, it's exactly Z0. So it's basically based on the scale of C. So if you dial in 120 BPM and you choose your scale to be C, uh, C minor or C major, you basically match up your BPM and your scale. Um, so therefore, this can be handy sometimes to see um, what certain measurements here equals to what kind of hertz or what kind of frequency. Um, so for that, it's interesting. Sometimes I do some drums. Let's say I have drum bass here, um, my drum grid, and I have 172 BPM, something like that. Um, yeah, make this a bit longer here actually one bar maybe. 
So this is drum loop and you maybe have a bit of reverb in between there. Um, the lowest, lowest is here 300, 316 milliseconds. Um, so we can say, oh, we go to one four note here, one quarter note. So we type this in. So the reverb is exactly one quarter note long. Then we can take here a transient control. Transient control is also here the release time is in milliseconds. I think the biggest one is 360 milliseconds. So we want to use here maybe let's say one eight note or one 16 note, uh, 87 milliseconds. So we can type this in. And you have basically the right release time here for uh, the sustain. Yeah, and you can see basically at the release time goes back uh, in time just for the next event on the drum uh, loop. So that's why I, what I'm using this time calculations for most of the times. Like I said, I use sometimes calcul calculator of Windows. Sometimes I go to a website and just type in the BPM um, to get that. Um, it's actually not, not hard to calculate, but it's pretty handy to have this here on the top right corner, just everything laid out for you, calculated for you. You can also switch it to dotted and triplets if you want to. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting to have this here, to have this ready to use. Like I said, it's free to use, it's completely free. Link is in the description below. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.